So welcome back to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Chris. And make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button and all that stuff to keep up to date with everything that we do because it really does help our channel grow and it allows us to do cool videos. So what we've got is a TIM thermal copier by 3K Instruments and Penenka. The price of this is £899.99 and that is excluding VAT and delivery. I had one of these thermal copiers absolutely ages ago, like years ago. And we had one in the studio for a very, very long time. But the actual thermal copier that we had was the previous model of the one that I'm going to be showing you today. And you know what it was absolutely solid and it never skipped a beat it's just one of those things where it just does what it says in the tin day in day out until the bulb goes and you just replace the bulb you know it's it's a it's a real workhorse for making stencils and the other side of that as well is because it's made in germany it's made to a high standard you know it's you know it's going to be something that lasts yes you can buy cheaper ones which are usually sold online and I think Barber DTS do sell them, but these are the types of things that you get from like AliExpress, you know, like cheap Chinese knockoffs and just things that aren't really up to the same high standard as something like this. So yeah, we're gonna go through and, and do the unboxing now, see what actually comes in the box. Let me just go and get it, two seconds. I've actually already opened the box and everything so you can show you guys when we've done the video the other day. And um, so yeah, it's already been opened, but we'll, we'll take a good look and see what's inside. And then we'll kind of go through the pros and cons of something like this and what you can and can't do with it, because there are a lot of people out there um, that have been wanting to use this, but not understand the limitations of it. All right, so it comes in a fairly big box. And, oh, how did they get in there? If you're at the lender convention the other day, you'll see we've got some awesome flyers and you'll be seeing these at conventions all around the UK soon. So yeah, so packaging, you've got your, that. So first of all, you get a cable. That's your power cable, it's like the standard kettle lead. You've got your protective sides. You got a quick start guide. It basically tells you what it is. It's 3K instruments. You tells you what your included parts are. You got a thermal imager, a power cord, an Allen key, a carrier standard, and a user manual. This is very important thing to read when you're first kind of getting your hands on one of these. And it's the commissioning. Use the enclosed Allen key to loosen the two transport screws marked in red. Do not remove the screws completely. A half turn is sufficient. There's also a QR code on there, so you can kind of click on that with your phone and it will take you to more detailed instructions. The operation is fairly, fairly simple. So you've got your switch on the device, the power cord or the power button is next to it. The power cord goes in the back. You can set the suitable speed for your stencils and then it says insert prepared carry into the slot and then evaluate the result and if necessary adjust speed. So on the back of that you've also got your short instructions as well. Now one thing it will say is that laser prints and copies are the best choice. Inkjet printers must use black pigmented inkjet. Only that type of ink allows good copies by generating enough heat um, and standard CMYK four color inkjet printers mostly don't work got to make sure that when you're using something like this that the ink that is in your printer is like a carbon black based pigment otherwise the stencil transfer is not going to work the other thing you could do as well back in the day when i was young and i didn't have gray hair um we used to make all our stencils by hand and we would use this which is a stadler or stadler pen like i've gone through so many of these pens it's unreal these pens work for making stencils to use with this. Okay, so you've also got your carrier. And this is what goes through the printer. And, and that, I think this is pretty neat as well. Included in the carrier is a stencil that's been made. And this there, if you can see that, it says, please use only templates based on a carbon toner. So like I said, it's got to be that carbon black. Um, it also says this copy was made with your device as a final test for quality control. So that's pretty cool. So you know that the machine that is coming to you is going to be one that has been tested. 
prior. It's actually two stencils here. I made one myself as well. So let's just take this out of the box. So there's your Allen key. Now, what it says on there, I don't know if you can see it there. There's a screw there and there's a screw there. So either side, there are two screws. And what you do is you do like a little half turn and that is it's like a transportation screw. So I put it, I'm assuming it keeps things in place. There we go. So you definitely want to make sure that you are undoing this or loosening it up before you start making stencils. Plug it in, switch it on, the switch on the back. So that is your adjuster there, so I can adjust how dark and how light it is. You also get a little slip on the back, which again, it's just the quick start guide. So there's also an orange button on the inside, and what that does, if you press and hold onto that, it turns the glass roller and the, I think it's made from silicone maybe, roller, and it allows you to be able to clean them then. Okay, so to make the stencil, it's really, really easy. It is literally a case if you get your stencil paper or your spirit paper. There are a couple of different brands. We use spirit paper in our shop. You take out this, you toss it away, preferably in the bin. You get that, which is your stencil. You pop that inside there. Get your carrier. Pop that in there. So you select your desired level of darkness of the stencil. Obviously, when you first get this, I would say, you know, just kind of like have a little bit of a play about with this to so start quite low and then just work your way up. Once you're used to kind of like how you like your stencils to look, you, you, you know, you'll know what you're doing then. So yeah, so if we go at like five and then see how that goes. So yeah, it's just case it's switched on on the back and you just push it through. Okay, so that was not dark enough. So you just bang it through again. Oh, there we go. It's always good to air on the side of the caution. So we put it through twice and you've got your stencil. It's come through and there we go. Lovely jubbly, nice line stencil, ready to go. That is essentially how to use it. It's a really easy, simple to use. You know, it is as simple as you want something to be. So you've got so many options available, but you've also got limitations with, you know, different stencil machines and thermal copies and so on. So for example, something like this, it's you, if you wanted to print like a 300 DPI picture, like you can do with an inkjet, or a brother printer, that that's not gonna happen. I think these are like, you know, 100 or 150 DPI, maybe. They're not that detailed. So something like this, you wanna be doing like line work. So if you are somebody that is a traditional tattoo artist and you do a lot of line work with your stencils, or even if you're a realist, art, you know, a realism artist, or just any type of tattoo artist that always makes line stencils, then this is gonna be perfect for you. If you're somebody that just wants to print a picture off Google and then, kind of like make a stencil with it straight away, this isn't gonna be for you. But what I will say is if you can get over the idea of having to make your stencils by hand, which we did for fucking years, like, you know, I to a degree still make my stencils by hand. I have like a bit of a hybrid um, variation of how I make my stencils. But, you know, for years, I made my stencils by hand with tracing paper with this. There's no different, you know, doing it with an iPad and Procreate and then printing it out. But if you do line work by hand, this is actually a really perfect piece of kit. Obviously, it's not for traveling. This is more suited for in the studio and, you know, just have something that's just a powerhouse that will just keep going and going and going and going. And like I said, the only, I've never had one of these break on me in the entire time I've been tattooing. So yeah, if I wasn't using a brother printer and my stencils were a lot more simpler, I'd probably get myself one of these because they are fucking great. So on the features and specs, it says crisp stencils within seconds, compatible with all styles of stencil papers, infrared technology, the output is a thousand watts. It's got improved power consumption 
and it's got sensor control cooling equals 30% less downtime. It's easy to clean silicone surface drive roller and it's software control for all functions. I'm clicking it, sorry. And it's software control for all functions and components for increased safety. The dimensions of this are 42 centimeters by 18 centimeters. So the width is 42, the depth is 18, and the height is 11 centimeters. It weigh, I said it weighs six kilograms. Uh, the voltage is 115 and 230 volts AC, and it's got CE next to it. And it's also got a two year warranty. Um, yeah, so that's like the specs and stuff. And speaking of CE, there's one thing I actually like about this, which I will show you now. Okay. If you look on the back, it says it's got the CE markings and it are all that jazz. And that's the kind of stuff that you want to be seeing with your products, especially electrical products that you're buying for your tattoo studio and you're using every day. That means it's actually made to a good standard and you know, it's been inspected and everything. So yeah, happy days. It's actually got the correct marking, not the China export. So yeah, all in all, these are great products. These are fantastic stencil machines. Like they are something that has been a staple in the tattoo industry for years. They, they, they were used before I started tattooing and I'm they're still being used now. And this is probably the first time I've seen it being updated in my entire career. And I think there'll be one of those things that will probably keep going and going and going. And even in 10 to 15 years time, they will still probably be used as stencil machines because they do exactly what they need to do and they do it well. But yeah, if you just make your stencils by hand or line drawing stencils, you're fucking good to go. So, you know, yeah, it's got its pros, it's got its cons. There's more pros than there is cons, I would say, on something like this. Like the only cons for me are it is heavy, so it's not good for traveling. And, you know, it's something that it's not good for 300 DPI. So yeah, I like it. I hope you will like it. And to find out how you can win this, just keep an eye on our podcast because we will be announcing the competition on there at some point in the near future. So yeah, there we go. That is me done. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification button and everything to keep up to date with everything that we do. We do appreciate it and it does help our channel grow. And I'm going now because there's not really much more to say about that. It's a fucking good stencil printer. It's worth the money. Buy one if you don't win it. Fuck yeah. Ta da. Oh, yeah. Also, thanks, Barbara DTS, for sponsoring this video and giving us that so we can give to our viewers.